A bank feed is a secure online connection between Sage Accounting and your bank. This will automatically import transaction details from your bank, meaning there's no need for manual entry or manual importing of transactions. With a bank feed set up, details of your transactions are regularly imported into accounting, allowing you to create or match transactions. This makes it the quickest and easiest way to create bank transactions and reconcile your accounts. Please note that Sage Accounting connects with a high number of banks, but there will be some that are not currently supported. Using bank feeds relies on your bank sending the information to accounting, so you may not see the very latest transactions from your online banking service immediately. Most banks update once a day for the previous day. To set up a bank feed, from Banking, locate the bank account you'd like to use. Click Connect Bank. Enter the name of your bank or credit card company in the search box. If your bank account doesn't appear in this search, it means your bank doesn't currently have a supported feed available and your data entry will need to be manual or via imports. Follow the on-screen steps to connect your bank. Each bank is different, with different security and different information required. Ensure you enter the correct login details during this process. If your bank supports downloading historical transactions, you can enter the date you'd like to start important transactions from. When setting up a bank feed, you'll be asked to authorise the connection between your bank account and Sage Accounting. Again, this is different for each bank, so what you'll need will change. There'll be some helpful links following this demonstration. Once the bank feed's set up, you can start processing the downloaded transactions. The bank account tile in banking shows the number of transactions imported from your bank and awaiting review. To view all imported transactions, click the number of transactions. The oldest transactions are listed at the top with the date, reference and amount. Money in is displayed in black and money out in red with a minus symbol. If you do not wish to import a transaction, say it's already been processed manually, you can discard an entry using the X from the left. The processing options are shown to the right of the amount. Match. This is where the imported transaction should be allocated to an existing outstanding invoice or existing bank transaction in accounting. Bank feeds will look for potential matches for any existing payments, receipts or invoices that have the same date and value as the import. This will be automatically matched and if it's correct, all you have to do is click match. If a match isn't found, you can match the imported transaction to an entered transaction of your choice. You can use the search box to help you find the transaction you're looking for, tick the box to the left and then click match. Be aware if you're matching a part payment, you'll need to amend the paid box at the bottom to specify the amount being paid towards the invoice. You cannot match without amending this figure. Create. This should be used to create money in or money out transactions that don't have an invoice in accounting. This could be something like a one-off purchase. You can create a payment on account for customers or suppliers using this option too. To create a payment on account, select the customer or supplier in the For drop-down. In the What drop-down, select Payment on Account. The reference is pre-populated with what your bank shows, but you can amend this. Select the method, then click Create. The payment or receipt remains outstanding until it's allocated to an invoice. You can also create a payment or receipt that isn't related to an invoice or credit note. The For drop-down isn't mandatory and you can leave this blank if you need to. In the What drop-down, you can select the ledger account. The reference again is pre-populated with what your bank shows, but you can amend this. Select the correct tax code if the right one's not displaying. 
If you're creating a transaction that you need to allocate to more than one ledger account or tax code, you can do so using the split transaction option. Select the split icon and then enter the relevant ledger accounts and tax codes. Bankfeed's rules can help you automatically create transactions imported from Bankfeed's, meaning when your transactions are imported next, bank rules are applied and transactions are created automatically. Each rule has a combination of conditions, such as the reference and the amount, that are used to recognise this transaction in the future. For example, if you pay your gas bill by direct debit each month, the reference and the amount would be the same, so this can be automatically created. Complete the required information in the Create Bank Rule button to use this feature.